kids write letters in all the time asking like what can we do to get better what can we do and yeah. just like just keep stringing keep trying different things it's kind of crazy to have kids like want to be a professional stringer not a professional lacrosse player and i think that's pretty cool i definitely think that's something that um we probably hold in the highest regard of what we've been able to develop is like the next generation of lacrosse we can kind of shape it to be a little bit different and uh kind of reach out to kids that i think wouldn't generally be, I don't want to say accepted, but um, you know, thrive in that type of environment. And we've become close with a lot of them, which is like pretty awesome. It's like we have like a bunch of little brothers that like, you know, we check in on, they tell us like, you know, what they're doing in school, kind of like their new sticks, all that stuff. I think, I think that's really cool. And it's also kind of showed, um, I think, presentation and craft and art and passion and try and tell kids like, yeah, if you think this is cool, try and do it. I mean, that's kind of what I allowed me to realize what my talents were as a kid was trying to develop and just keep trying to make things perfect. But I had no one telling me it was good or no one giving me feedback because we didn't have Instagram and stuff like that. So having that now, I think the community is not only growing, which is awesome, but I think we're really curating and kind of uh, mentoring a lot of really cool kids and a lot of cool kids that are gonna do, even if in, not in lacrosse, but developing their skills to make really cool things in life and cool companies and kind of push everything forward. To be able to offer another identity to lacrosse and how to still be passionate about the game and be near the game without you know everyone that has that ability or everyone that's in that that doesn't really care for it as much is kind of cool it's definitely cool because it shows you that um, there's other ways to enjoy the sport we love it's cool to look back and see what everything looked like and what it felt like then compared to what it looks like and feels like now um, and then it was a hobby and now it's a business but it's still treated very much like a hobby because it's, it's my favorite thing to do